What's up, everybody? Welcome back to the LD World. It's your boy, Lance, and I got my boo, Dua, here for another exciting video. We're gonna talk about some differences between... Iceland, the USA, and Spain. Our three major countries. He's from the US, I'm from Iceland, and we live in Spain. Yes. So we're gonna talk about the differences between those places and kind of give you our point of view, our perspective on how we see things kind of living in all three different countries. But you guys know what to do before we get started. Go ahead and give us that thumbs up if you like the video. You already know you're gonna like it before you watch it. So get, put, go ahead and click that thumbs up button. Subscribe to the family and turn on that notification bell because we got videos coming for you guys more often than we used to. Without further ado, let's get started. All right, so the first thing that we notice living in Barcelona is that they have spectacular Transportation system. Public transport transportation. <laughs> yes. Public transportation. Yes, their public transportation is fire. Tell them a little bit. You have a little bit more experience with that than I do, so tell them a little bit about how it works here. Well, we have a metro here. Mm -hmm. We have a bus. Mm -hmm. You can use the same card for it. It's one euro. Mm -hmm. um, it goes all over Barcelona. It's really easy. And Once you learn. Yeah. yeah. It's... it's, it's Perfect. If, if I can do it, everyone it's easy. can do it. Yes, because I'm not a public transportation kind of person. Like, I wasn't raised in a major city. I yeah. don't understand how metros work, but their public transportation here is super, super simple. I can get from point A to point B in any point of the city. You just know, like, going the green line and the red line and the orange line. You're learning. Yeah, see? Yellow line. They got a yellow one, too. Yeah, that's ours. Yeah. I, did that <laughs> I didn't want to forget it. Also, they literally, you can walk outside of our building, you'll see a taxi. Yes. Taxis everywhere. Yeah. As far as, like, Uber. Do they have Uber? Yeah. They I have a know. different type of Uber. Yeah, they have a few apps like that. Yeah. Yeah. But they have, like, like we use a taxi app where you can call a taxi just like you could an Uber. Yeah. I don't know if that works wherever you guys live or if it works like that, but me coming from, I didn't live in major cities in the States. Atlanta, their public transportation, I mean, it's not the best in my opinion. If you've been in Atlanta, if you live in Atlanta, you kind of know how it is. Cities in the U.S. are like, it depends. It depends. Like New York City, I think it's pretty good. Yeah, New York and Boston is pretty good. And then... Chicago Atlanta, might be good. That's you, a big city. Atlanta, you just don't want to. Yeah, you don't really want to go. You don't want to use. You that. don't want to use the train <laughs> there. And, and, yeah. And then the really suburbs want. in the U.S. is horrible. They don't have any. Or like. Yeah, even very... the trans. You you only have like Uber and Lyft, but yeah. the transportation here in the suburbs, like the kids take the major bus lines to go to school. Yeah. That's how easy it is. So, transportation is. I gotta give it an A plus on that. The Icelandic transportation is like it's non-existing. Ah, yeah. Does that make sense? Non-existing, yeah. So yes. I guess what she's trying to say is that they have horrible. Yes, public we transportation have when buses, it comes to. and that's it. Like we have buses that you don't want to take it because you're you're waiting in the freezing cold, and it comes mm. like every half an hour, and you have to change buses because yeah, it's just it's just. Mm. It's not good. Especially with the weather, you guys good. Yeah. You have a bubble in your throat. A little bit. <clears throat> <clears throat> I said the chips. Thanks for calling me out on that. Mm -hmm. You're welcome. Spain is really good. The US is like... It depends on where you are. It depends on where you're at. No, somebody can't talk today. It depends on where you are. Iceland is horrible. That's just... It, yeah. Public transportation. So the next thing we're going to talk about is the public bathrooms. I don't know why I'm the one talking about this because this is his topic. Okay. The All Iceland. Right, take it away. In Iceland, they're very clean. I feel like if they weren't clean, the people would like post it on Facebook and the company would like. <laughs> yeah, you guys do have really. I I can. Do a number two in the public bathrooms and, and I said feel comfortable. <laughs> like feel comfortable and just be completely yeah. Relieved. Yeah, we have clean bathrooms in ice and of course there's probably places where they're not clean like everywhere else, but majority of the places are clean. Spain. I haven't been to a I've we've, been to we've one. been to a clean bathroom, but not like a very clean. Yes. 
Spain, first of all, the public bathrooms are really, really small. I can't speak for all of Spain, but what I've experienced most of the time in Barcelona, this city here, public bathrooms, like, you it's can't like, even close the door It's like they design the coffee shop and then they're like, oh shoot, we forgot the bathroom. We it have to like squeeze that. it in the, it like that. Yes. <laughs> in the design. There's, there's, it. There's, there's a couple of coffee, there's two coffee shops that I've been to. They're the same company where it had a big space, public bathroom, they were decently clean for a public bathroom. And I'm not going to call out any names or anything, but I give them props. Everywhere else when it comes to restaurants, Clothing store. Do clothing stores even have bathrooms here? No, that's an American thing. We, we don't have bathrooms. Y'all don't have bathrooms in clothing stores in Iceland? That's an American thing. Well, now we know. That is an American thing. But restaurants, anything, the bathrooms are tiny. Um, sometimes you don't have anything to dry your hands. Yeah, it's just, they're just dirty. Yes, like, that's just they're it. Dirty. They're dirty. So They're small, dirty. And then you guys know, some of you guys know, like when it comes to the States, you either get either or. It just kind of depends on where you're at. Yeah. Sometimes you get a really good bathroom. Sometimes the bathroom is absolutely disgusting. And the gap on the stalls is like this. You can <laughs> see everyone. Yes. Yeah, so that's kind of the difference versus like America and Spain. But at least in America, like you can fit yourself in the bathroom. You can close the door. You're going to have multiple yeah. stalls and so on and so America forth. America is like average. Spain is horrible. Iceland is clean. And one thing I've noticed about the bathrooms here is the urinals. The urinals come up like I'm a, I'm not a tall guy, I'm average height, but they come up to my stomach. I have to tippy toe to pee in the urine. So if I don't get a toilet, so you have to put it up. Like... Yeah. That... <laughs> the urinals are built high. They don't build small urinals. So if there's like little kids that need a urinal, I'm assuming that the parents have to pick them up. Really? They, there's no other way. Or they you just gotta, go to the bath or like the toilet. If they have a toilet, yes. They don't all have toilets. Well, not all of them have toilets. You it's have crazy. To I've seen some without them. It's interesting. The next thing is the beer, the alcohol consumption. Go I'm ahead. gonna go ahead. Then. So with this one, I'm gonna say that Iceland and America is the same. Yes. Yes. We kind of wait for the weekend, and we just go all, all in, out. all yeah. out, all in, whatever you all say. All out. You, you're drinking beer, liquor, you whatever's just, handed to you. You just drink to get drunk. Mm -hmm. Here, I love it. <laughs> you can be at work, you can go out for lunch, have one beer and go back to work. Mm -hmm. Like they drink it to enjoy it. They don't drink it to get drunk. Beer here. It's just another. <laughs> it runs. It's, it's another beverage on the menu. It <laughs> yes. literally is another beverage on the menu. I don't feel like it's like a bad or it has a negative connotation to it. Um, I haven't seen very many like alcohol advertisements here as well. It's illegal. Well, there you go. That's why I haven't seen it. But it's, it's only in America where you can advertise alcohol. We advertise it all over the place. I know. But yeah, beer here isn't overly consumed, and I don't think you have to wait till you're 21. You don't get ID. No, it's like I think it's 16 or 18 years. 16 mm. probably, yeah. Yeah, and you don't get ID no matter where you go. You can be 40 years old and go to a restaurant in the States and they'll ask for your ID and it's like... And here they won't ask you. That's a, that's yeah. a good one too. Mm -hmm. In Iceland, in America, they will ask you. Because Iceland, you have to be 20, 21 in America. And I think here it's like here. 16 and they never, they never ID you. You can buy... Since them. we came here, what, three and a I half months ago? I don't even bring ago, my ID. We've never been asked. You don't need an ID at the club. You don't need an ID at the bars. You don't need an ID to go buy alcohol in the place because it's just like that's when it, that's what comes to ID, um, IDing. But drinking beer, it's just I know my drink. You can go order a beer and a Fanta. <laughs> this one is a little bit of an adjustment for me because America versus not just Spain, all of Europe. Like everything here is sold in liters. Yes, and but not like gallons like in America, which is Yeah, huge. we don't have family size here, which is unfortunate because I eat family size. It's I funny. Feel like it. It's funny because I remember going to your parents' house and we were having breakfast with them. And I saw that, you know, the, the oh, what do you the call it? The old... jar. No, not the jar. Uh, the, the thing that the juice is in. The juice. Yeah. Not... yeah, the gallon of... 
Yeah, is, yeah. is that huge. a gallon? Yes. It's huge. I think and it was. And sometimes saw, you gotta hold it with two hands and then you just boom. When I saw that, I was like, I've never seen this in a family house. Like I've seen this at like restaurants, like behind the, <laughs> <laughs> but I've never seen anyone have this in their house. Uh, we, we got a big family of hungry boys and we eat like it's an and industrial kitchen. there wasn't just one, like, kitchen. there was no, a few We, yeah. there was a few we have some them. stored out in the garage. But, so now whenever we buy orange juice here yeah give us a liter and a half what is that <laughs> it's gone in two what days what is that? that that doesn't even that's one of the things that i have a problem with i'm assuming it's the same in iceland because yeah. it's europe but that's the difference on that one between america and just europe all together it's like everything is sold small no, when you buy decent size everything is sold small decent you size. can buy two it's, pennies, it's huge small. in america you know that <laughs> I'm learning that, yes. Yes. I'm learning that. Even when you go to the cinema, you get like a large Fanta. It's like... I'll tell you one thing that did make me feel at home. I walked by a billboard the other day on the bus stop, and it said that Burger King was selling burgers two for seven euros. <laughs> the discounts. <laughs> That's another thing. The so, discounts in America. Oh my gosh. <laughs> you get them I, in the mail. We're going to have to do another <laughs> video on that. Yeah, there's so much that yeah, we could talk forever. So that's pretty much it. Now you guys have a little bit of insight on what it's like in America, what it's like in Iceland, and Maybe kind of like Spain. what it's like in Spain. If you live in Spain or if you're from Barcelona, comment down below. Let us know if you kind of travel to both all three of these countries and let us know if what we're saying makes sense. If you don't live in Spain and you have something to say about the video, comment down below, leave a positive <laughs> message. We'll definitely reply back to you. But that's it. That's it. If you like the video, give us a thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel. We'd love to have you a part of the family and turn on that notification bell because we got another one coming for you. I already know what it is. I'm looking at my notes right now and it's a good one. So go ahead and hit that notification bell because it will be coming out soon. We'll